Hello, Munir Ajam, one more time. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna revisit a topic we've touched on in the past, but maybe make it more focused on the concept of project management office. Um, many organization or some organization um, usually when they establish PMOs, and you might hear terms related to what's been published in the last Pumba Guide edition 5, is that they classify PMOs as um, supporting PMO or controlling PMO or directing PMO. Um, I'm not going to you know, uh, explain these different types. You can read the Pumbach Guide and find what they mean by these, these three different definitions. Where I have problem with sometimes uh, constricting these things is that PMO today are highly dynamics and they are highly flexible. And I cannot see one model or three models that apply across organization. There is a huge difference in different type of PMOs that could be established in an organization. Yes, we can categorize them and so we can have some shared categories. But every PMO must be unique uh, to the organization. Uh, so it's like we talk about in another video about the adaptive framework or adaptive project management. PMOs as well have to be dynamic and have to be adaptive uh, based on similar thing we discussed before, type of project, classes of project within the organization, organizational culture, uh, organizational preferences, and uh, many other factors. So in a way, whenever we are dealing with project management office as a topic, we've got to understand many factors before we can implement a PMO. Uh, now, when I say uh, we need to consider many factors, maybe there is no need for a PMO. So maybe that will be one of the solutions. But based on an assessment of the organization, cultures, uh, readiness, uh, and many, many other factors, uh, we can consider the best type of PMO that could be, or the most suitable type of PMO that could be established in an organization. Uh, now, research and statistics this shows to us that usually many PMOs do not last long. Now, this is a, an interesting question, said why? Well, obviously, if the PMO is not set up properly or is not set up to deal with the pains that the organization is facing when they decided to implement the PMO, PMO will fail. Now, one major reason, uh, if we talk about failure, if I can talk about only one reason, is that what and what we've seen and based on our observation and research as well by others uh, if we can categorize or summarize all the different causes the main view things in our view is that many PMOs are being established more in a support or maybe reporting roles rather than building the project management systems and methodologies within the organization if we built a BMO, if an organization built a PMO that just collects reports, even a standardized reporting formats, uh, is basically all they're telling right now is that, yeah, before maybe we had some pain points, we didn't know where they were. Now we have pain points, the PMO is helping us know where they are. However, we're not eliminating those pain points. How do you eliminate these points? These pain points organization must move away from the concept of a project management office and focus on the concept of project management function. If you do project, if you do project, if a large percentage of your capital is being invested through project, what you really must consider is project management function through a project management division or project management department. Psychologically speaking, that's one key difference. In addition to this, you must build the organizational project management system, including governance, policies, processes, procedure, methodology for managing, managing different type of projects and different type of project based on the different classifications of project. If you do not do this, then you have the illusion of building proper project management and maybe you are hoping that one day you will see improvement. But again, maybe it is just an illusion. Reality says, build the system. PMO is not OPM. PMO 
is not the organizational project management system. Yes, the PMO can build the OPM system. Yes, the PMO can manage and build methodologies. Yeah, the question there, are they empowered to? We'll leave it as a point to ponder. Thank you.